Thank you everyone for joining our Sweet Aroma call tonight. I'm super excited to be chatting with you about uh, parties and I, we are going to do something totally different tonight to get some parties booked. Uh, super important for you guys to get all the parties booked now if you are interested in earning an incentive um, going into fall, it's always our busiest time of the year. It's it's the time to to rake in some extra commissions and income. Um, also, this uh, booking all the things right now are going to set you up for a great fall. So, um, I understand like the where the economy is right now. I understand we are in a recession. Things are different right now. And if you are somebody that joined, let's say um, 2020, 2021. Um, maybe even 20, uh, 22, things were definitely different than what they are now. Um, but that's part of being a business owner. You go up and down in your business sometimes, right? You can always be on the mountaintop. And, but here's what I want to tell you. If you stick it out, let me tell you, um, you, you will be here for another 2020. You have to stick it out. You have to go with the ups and downs of a business. Um, and struggles are only temporary. And you have to keep that in your mind. Struggles are temporary. You will not always struggle, uh, but you have to stay consistent. Um, quitting is permanent. So please don't quit. That's permanent, right? You've already joined Sensi. You're already a consultant. Let's see what we can do with this, all right? And if you get overwhelmed, if you get burnt out, I want to encourage you to rest, not quit. Learn to take a break. Um, I've had people say, oh, I'm putting on my business on hold right now. Let me just tell you, if you put your business on hold for two weeks or more, you cannot get that moment. It's, I shouldn't say you can't, but it's really hard to gain that momentum back. Okay. So stay consistent, schedule out your post in your group. You need to open the door every single day for your business. So learn to schedule posts in your customer groups. Super important. Um, if anyone has any, any questions while I'm chatting, please put your questions in the chat or raise your hand or something, um, unmute yourself, feel free to interrupt me. I'm here to help you and I want to help you in any way that I can. Um, another thing when, when people put their business on hold for like a month or whatever, you lose customers. They're going to go find somebody else, right? So please, please, please learn to rest, not quit. Um, and you can do this business. And I want you, I've heard people, like, I can't book parties. Um, I, I, nobody wants to buy Sensi. Um, I can't do this. Learn, take can't out of your vocabulary. Okay. Take can't out of your vocabulary. You can do this business. Anyone can do this business. This business is no respecter of person. You do not need a college degree. You don't even need a high school diploma. Anyone can do this business. I'm a college dropout, okay? I built a successful business. You can do this business too. You just have to stay consistent, discipline yourself and, and work hard and you can do this business. Um, let me see, what else do I have here? Also remember, Sensing is a party plan company. People are like, I don't want to do parties. I don't want to do parties. I just want to tell you, this is a party plan company. Learn how to do parties. Learn how to do them. And if, if, you, if, if uh, I don't know, if Facebook parties aren't working for you, learn to do parties a different way, okay? Learn to do them a different way. If plan A isn't working, go to plan B. Just don't quit and figure out your little niche. Figure out what's going to work for you. It's not a one size fits all business. There's multiple, multiple, multiple ways to do this business, okay? Parties is how you grow your customer base. It's how you grow your clubbers. Um, it's how you find new teammates, team, teammates. How many people on here join from a party? Whether it be a fundraising party, whether it's a home party, a Facebook party, raise your hand. I want to see who joined from a party. Look at that. This is why you need to party, guys. This is why you need to party. All right. Um, sorry. Um, I lost where I was. I lost my train of thought. All the things. Okay. 
I personally built my business on home parties, fundraisers, and doing vendor events. Okay, let's fast forward to 2020. Guess what? Vendor events, I could not do. Home parties, I could not do. I was like, what am I going to do? How am I going to get my PRV when 2020 happened, right? And the world shut down. Guess what? I spent hours watching training videos and I learned how to do bingo parties. And I'm telling you, I was doing bingo parties four and five times a week during 2020. I started off by doing them in my VIP group. That's where I practice. <laughs> they, were, they were my guinea pigs. But from there, I booked bingo parties from my VIP group. And I built it up to where I was doing four and five bingo parties a week. It challenged me. It stepped me out of my, it really pushed me out of my comfort zone. Um, now, fast forward to today, I'm back to doing bag parties and home parties. That's what's working for me right now. Not this, the same thing doesn't always work. You know, I, we have to be willing to switch things up and juggle things a little bit. Um, so here's what I want you to do for me right now. Um, I already talked about this. Our, our big incentive starts August 1st. So what we're going to do tonight is going to set you up for the incentive. Okay. I, for you that are going to SFR, I want you to come home and you're ready to go. You've already got parties booked. If you're not going to SFR, let's say you're doing it virtually, that's okay. We're still setting you up for um, if you want to book parties for July, that's great. I'm encouraging everyone. Uh, I'm doing some bag parties. I'm mailing them out next week, and I'll probably be closing them out the first part of August. Why? For the incentive. That's why I'm doing this. Um, but I've got people say, hey, Martha, I need PRV right now. Guess what? I got something for you to uh, do as well. So the first thing I want you guys to do, and I'm going to show you, and I want you I have posted this on my personal Facebook. I put it on my business page. I put it in my VIP group and I put something in my stories. And I'm going to share with you what I have posted. Um, and I've already got six parties booked and I have somebody joining in August. Um, so let me just see if I can screen share with you guys. So just give me a moment here. Like I told you guys, this everything, I should have tried this before I got you guys all on here because I have a new computer. Um, shoot, give me a second, you guys. Why is this doing this? I'm having difficulties, obviously. Not working for me. Okay. Why is this not working? I'm so sorry. If you guys have joined and have not put your um, name in the chat. Um, if you could do that for me so that I can put you in our drawing for tonight. Um, okay, it's not letting me screen share and I don't know why. Is it the raise your hand blurb that you posted? Yes, it is. You want me to just hold up my phone? Yes, that would be great if you could just do that for me. Um, because I put it on my computer. I, I screenshotted it on my computer. Oh, there. Okay. Can, can you guys see that? I could put it in the chat, couldn't I? also as well. So you guys can copy and paste too. Um, see if I can. I'm going to. Okay. Now, now if you could do it again, so they could see it, uh, I made you, I made it so they could see you. 
Can everybody see that? I want you to go put that in all your things. And then I'm going to show you what I put in my stories as well. And this is a good time to post because this is um, statistics say the evenings is when people are on Facebook. I don't see anything. I'm putting it in the chat too. Oh, okay. For you, just, I don't know why I can't screen share, but. I put my phone up and my backup. All right, I also put it in the chat. Can you guys see that? Yes. Okay. There's mine as well. I can do that now too. I got that all in the chat. You guys see that? Let me know uh, once you have that on your personal Facebook, your VIP group, and in your uh, business page. I'm gonna go back to see why I can't screen share. don't understand. Huh. All right. Also, um, in case you guys, um, you have not put your name in the chat, please type your name in the chat. So you can be entered into the drawing. Please, if at all possible, have your camera on. All right, does everyone have that done on your uh, Facebook? Okay, after when people start commenting, um, what you're gonna do is private message them. Now you can use your verbiage um, and I will share um, what I have sent to everyone. I send in a private message and um, here's what I, I'll put it in the chat. Now I changed up my verbiage a little bit, um, depending on who the individual might be, um, or if they're local to me. If somebody is local to me, I want a home party. Um, um, I love home parties. 
home parties are anywhere from $500 to $1,000 uh, for me. And I'm going to share with you how I do that um, on our next call. If they're not local to me, I really want at least a bag party. I'll be honest. Um, when people, I always say, if they can smell it, I can sell it. <laughs> so. I don't know how to get back to my chat. And you're on your phone, right? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was muted. I was talking to myself. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was just going to say that I did post that on on Facebook, the um, I want to spoil my friends thing. So. You did what now? You post on your Facebook? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. And like on my phone, it shows me three little tabs at the bottom, like showing me that I can scroll. And I my was the chat thing. Y'all just carry on. I'm just new to this. <laughs> I'll try to be quiet. I don't know how to turn my phone down. Sorry. All right. Here's what I put. Um, I just put it in the chat, what I sent to people. Um, now, like I said, some of the verbiage changed up depending on how well I know them or if they're local to me. Um, that type of thing and use your verbiage. But I said, hey, friend, party, partying with me means you earn all the free Sensi. I can mail you a bag party or we can do an online event. Event. Which one would be better for you? Typically, when people smell the scents, they will order from you. So that is what I am sending to them. What do you mail with a bag party? I mail um, a pouch um, with probably about um, 20 testers of the, um, the most popular ones typically is what I put in a bag party. Um, I put a couple catalogs in there, um, order forms. Um, I do, uh, I pay for a return postage to me as well. Um, what else do I have in there? Oh, I have samples in there. I'll have like laundry samples, some whiff samples in there. Um, I wish I had one handy right now, but I don't. Um, so that's that's kind of typically what I do for my bag parties. And also, of course, I will have them um, a shopping link set up on my website as well. So it's kind of an online event and a bag party is typically how I do mine. All right. Any other questions on that? So that's what I send in a private message to the people that are commenting. And then on the status, I will reply to them. I sent you a PM. So they get both of those notifications. Okay. Also, what happens every time I reply to somebody, I have more comments on that post. So it's pushing my post, helping with the algorithms as well on my post. Does that make sense? Any questions on that? All right. Good deal. All right, so that is um, one thing that is going to help you guys in booking parties. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to show you what I did in my stories. Because I'm using all avenues of social media, okay? Let me find it. I wish I could screen share with you guys. It would make it so much easier, but that is not working. So, all right. Oops, all right. I need to screenshot that. If you guys, if um, everyone could mute themselves right now, that would be great. All right, here's what I did in my stories. I took three images and then I did a poll. And I've got people replying to that now.
If you guys want to take a picture of that, if that would help, I don't know if that would help. Um, then you can maybe work on it a little bit later for that one. But feel free. And you can use what any, whatever images that you would like. Um, but those are the, just the ones that I decided to use. Does everyone know how to create this on Instagram? So my Instagram is also linked to my Facebook. So it's going to come up in my Facebook stories and my Insta stories. If you have any questions on that, let me know. All right, let me go look at the chat. What does the poll say? The, uh, my poll says, spoiling friends with, with uh, free Sensi, one in, and then they click yes or no. Spoiling friends with, with free Sensi, one in. How many days should an online party be? Uh, my online parties, I typically do, um, I start them on a Monday and then I will go to the following Monday. That's how I, I feel like if I leave it open much longer than that, um, it's almost too long. And I always, but I always want to keep it open through a weekend for pay periods. You know, people typically get paid on Friday. Okay. Um, all right. I've got another one I, I, for you guys. Um, let me go back here. Let me, my notes. I forgot about my notes. Okay. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit here. Um, first of all, be your authentic self when you're messaging people. You know, like don't be copying, pasting, use your verbiage, okay? How you talk to people, try to insert that in there a little bit, make it personable, make it authentic, make it you, okay? Um, so that I wanted to share that. Booking parties is the lifeline of being a successful Sensi consultant, okay? Booking parties is the lifeline of being a successful Sensi consultant. Um, let me see what else I had here for you guys. Uh, booking parties, it will grow your business. I already talked about that a little bit. You cannot rely on friends and family to order always. You cannot always, like, you have to grow your customer base. So important. <laughs> For you to grow your customer base. Okay. So make sure that you are booking the parties. Um, you're going to tap into other people's network, right? You're going to tap into other people's network when you have parties. Um, when you do face-to-face -face parties, you're building that one-on-one -on -one relationship with people. They're going to get to know you. Um, you're amazing. Every single one of you are amazing and they are, you are going to build a connection with them. So that's super important. And that is how you can grow your network. Um, ask every single customer to book a party for you. Every single customer, um, host your own party. If you could not book parties right now, you're, you're struggling with that. Host your own party. Like I did in your VIP group, host one in your home, have people come over. Ask a friend or family to host one for you. Anyone that is local to you that you have a connection with, message them and say, hey, um, I need to, uh, I, I, I want to do some Sensi events. Do you, can you recommend anyone to me that enjoys getting free Sensi or somebody that is social? Like connect with those people and ask them. Um, you have to step out of your comfort zone. All right. Um, now I want to go into, if you need PRV for July, um, need instant PRV. If you have stock that you're looking to get rid of, um, I have something for you. Um, let's see here. Shoot. I cannot, uh, I wish, I wish, I wish I could screen share. I thought I should have checked that. All right. I know what I can do. All right. Just give me a second here. So if you need to, 
you need the PRV right now, if you have stock that you want to get rid of, I highly recommend doing mystery bags. And I'm going to put the verbiage, some verbiage here. And some ideas and a Canva image that you can, um, if you would like to, you can edit that. Um, can I share files in here? No. Okay. I'm going to need to go back and look at that. I should, I have the option, but it won't let me. All right. Um, so I put that in the chat. So those are for mystery bags. Now, here's one thing I want to tell you about mystery bags. When um, I would, if I were you and you needed inst instant PRV right now, or if you had stock you wanted to get rid of, I would make up your bags first before you post. Okay. And you can just use gift bags. Okay. And you write on the gift bags. Um, let me, I can share, I can show you an image. And you can like, so here's kind of an idea and you can write the price points. You make up the price points. It's totally up to you. Make up the price points, put them on the bag um, and just use like a little clippy, write it on like a post-it even and use a little clippy and put it on the bag, what your price points are. And you can kind of use some of the verbiage that I posted, but make it you, make it authentic. Um, and so that's one thing I would recommend. And if, if you do not have the stock, just decide ahead of time. I put ideas there in that post. Um, you can take a picture of the verbiage that I put there. Um, and then you can order the contents that you need for the bags, okay? And then you turn that into a party, okay? And you're the host of that party. But you can get those orders ahead of time. Does that make sense? Any questions? Is Steven on here? I know Steven does this quite a bit, I think, mystery bags. Is he on here or not? I don't know why. I can't. I'm having issues tonight with Zoom. He was on here. He was I'm on, on here. here. I'm just sick. I think so he did he the oh, there you are. Oh. Hi, Steven. <laughs> sorry. I'm just sick, so I have my oh, camera I'm off. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if you wanted to add anything about mystery bags. I know you do that a lot, and they're very simple. Um, yeah, don't overthink it. Um, people just like a mystery. Mm -hmm. I actually just did them with stock that I had and like to bring back my bars because obviously that was ending and a lot of them I didn't care for myself. So I, I threw them into my mystery bags to get rid of them, right? Um, I used brown lunch sacks <laughs> because you can get like 50 of them for $2. There you go. So, yeah. And most everything of our products that you'd stick into mystery bags will fit into that. And I usually just throw like some crinkle in the bottom of it and a piece of candy and then Scentsy. And then I'll just tie it with the curling ribbon. Um, so that's just super cheap and easy to not overthink about it. You yeah. know, <clears throat> uh, before I would always. Guys, no, don't overthink it. You guys, this is simple. Yeah. Um, I would used to like go find cute tissue paper and <laughs> I don't need to spend the money on it. We're trying to make money, right? So right. I right. simplified it with brown paper lunch bags <laughs> and it totally works and people love a good mystery. Yeah. And if you, like Martha said, if you don't have stock on hand, um, you can think about what you want to put into them and then try to collect orders for it. I personally have found that I sell them better when I have them ready to go. So it's something to try either way. Um, but I know for my customers, they want it now. Yeah. So, People and then sometimes I, de I decide, do I need the PRV? Do I want to spend the money that I just made on the mystery bags from the stock that I had on hand to just reorder some more stuff to throw back into my stash for a later time? So right. normally that's what I do. I just turn around and get the PRV for myself. So there you go. Yep. All right. Any questions on the mystery bags? I just wanted to add that I, I've never done them because I don't keep inventory. Like I keep my own personal stuff. Um, but I always do them and order the stuff after. 
So like right now I'm doing Christmas in July and I just kind of went through the clearance and found like some good deals on pods and wax and just doing mystery bundles that way. So if you need the PRV, you could also try it with the other way. Thank you. Thank you so much, Megan. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else have anything they want to add? Questions? Anything? Oh, sorry. I couldn't figure out how to unmute myself right away. Um, I was going through um, the Sweet Aroma page today, just looking for different ideas. And um, so I posted it and I really should have thought about it because I don't know what I'm going to do now. Um, but there was a post and I was trying to find the picture because I have like people responding to it now. And uh, do you remember posting this a long time ago? Mm. Okay. So, so this yeah. picture. Can you, can, I can see the picture. Okay. Do you love yeah. Sensi? If so, pick a number between one and 15, then leave that number in the comment below with your favorite something. I can't see the rest. Yeah. With your uh, favorite scent. Oh, okay. Your favorite Sensi okay. scent. So I'm guessing when they pick a number, I tell them they win a party or what am I doing? Yeah, you could just do like, um, you can get a, a, what I would do with that. I don't remember what that was all about, but I would just say, hey, thank you so much for choosing number, number five, you get an item for $5 uh, if you host a qualifying event. So which would 200 PRV is a qualifying event. Okay. That's what I would do. I would do something like that. Yeah. So that one's going really good in my VIP group. I just haven't answered anybody yet because I'm like, I don't know what I'm saying yet. Well, you can really use the same thing that like that post I shared earlier. It's just the same idea. Just change up the verbiage. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah. Did Does anyone else have something about that or know anything about um, that? I think I posted that when I first started too. It was a different image, but it's very similar to that. And I think it was like a really good way of using the perpetual reward um, and offering some sort of gift for a qualifying party. So um, if if their party does 200 more, you can, I mean, as, as little as like a hand soap or whatever, and then you would pay the 50% of that for them. So it's like a gift and then you'd write it off. Um, that's how I used it was with the perpetual um, as a gift. But how Martha is doing it, she's not offering any personal special. It's literally, she's just giving them free Sensi with the rewards that they're earning. So mm -hmm. um, it just depends on how you want to reach out to your customers after they give you a number. Um, yeah. So, and before I forget, back onto the mystery bag things, but this is a great opportunity if you are still needing your 100 bars and 25 pods, because you can utilize pods and bars in your mystery bags to get you the yeah. last leg of the incentive. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I just wanted to share something with you guys, hopefully to encourage you. Um, so the post that I shared, the first post that I shared with you guys, um, I had somebody message me. Now let's go back. I've been with Sensi for 12, 12 years. Can somebody mute themselves? Let me see. Hold on one second. I have this new computer and I can't even like mute people in this. I got to go change all the settings. I think in my, I think Lois, I think you need to mute yourself. I think it's you. You can. Thank you so much. Uh, gosh, it's crazy. Okay. Um, I just want to, I've been with Sensi for 12 years and my post from today, um, that I shared, I had somebody message me and I used to work with her back and she's a customer of mine now, but I worked with her back and I worked for John Hancock years ago. So that was like in the nineties, uh, up until 2002, I think. So after my post, she said, uh, you know, I love Sensi. Um, I, um, and I love the word free, but I think I'm ready to give Sensi a try. 
Okay, you never know where these posts are gonna go. Okay, you never know who's gonna join your team. You never know what's gonna happen from these kind of posts. She goes, do you have any promos coming up soon? Well, of course, you know, we, in transition month, we always have a join promo, right? And of course, I want her to join in August because that's when the incentive starts, right? So I told her what I would do is mail her a bag party so she can uh, earn her kit for free or discounted, and then we can use that to enroll her. So I just wanted to share that as a word of encouragement, and I've had other people message me. So, so far, I've got six parties out of that post. So I hope this goes really well for you guys as well. Um, all right, any other questions, comments, or anything? All right, there was, um, if you, if one other thing you could do if you are messaging people, and this is something I kind of always go back to, um, if, if I'm trying to book parties, is this verbiage, hey, I can give away $20 in free credit, credit this month with an event. Would you want to do that? Would you like to do that? Um, and these, of course, this is for people that maybe are your customers, people that you have a relationship with, right? When you use that verbiage. So that's kind of something I kind of always go back to. Where do I get the $20 in free credit? It's when they have a an event and it's $200 or more, you're going to get $20 in free Sensi, right? So that's kind of where that comes from. Um, all right. Any other comments, questions, thoughts? Anybody want to share what's something that's working for you? You guys are so talkative. Well, this <laughs> is working because I already have three messages. So, awesome. Yay. Um, but a couple of them are past hostesses. How long do they have to wait between parties? That was going to be my question. Oh, they don't have to wait. Oh, so I thought they had to... So I thought I read somewhere that they had to wait so long before they could rehost, but that's not true. No. Great. Then I'm good. No, I've done some people back to back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought now just a little tidbit here. Um, yeah, I mean, you can start these parties now if you want, but I'm trying to get people going later in July and then go that over even to August. Okay. Um, if you're trying to work towards the incentive, I'm trying to get you guys all set up for the incentive. <laughs> but you guys what you want to do, but just a little tidbit. Remember, our incentive starts August 1st. Okay, thank you. So like my bag parties I'm mailing out, I'm going to mail them out before I leave for SFR. And uh, I think I got one person that's doing a home party. So we're going to book that one in August as well. So I'm getting them all set up. All right, I'm gonna do the drawing. If you did not leave your name in the chat and you are here, hurry up and do that. I'll give you just a moment to do that if you have not. Um, so everybody's in the drawing for tonight. I shared earlier what the giveaway was. So this is for a bag party. You can uh, prep this all up for a bag party. Uh, I've got felt samples in here. I've got a little never give up hat in here as well. I've got uh, resealable bags for some samples to go out as well. And this cute little boss babe thing that I'm, I'm that uh, is going to be all mailed out. So it looks like everybody must be, they must have left their name in there. This is a little basket that I picked up at Goodwill and I'm going to um, make a gift up in this little bag for a customer of mine. But in the meantime, I'm using it for the drawing. <laughs> I wasn't able to, I, I don't know how to comment, <laughs> I Who guess. Brittany. Brittany. Okay, Brittany Saroys. Brittany Saroys. I joined in like halfway. Okay. But um, it's okay. <laughs> here, I'll get your name in here. Hold on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Just give me a moment. Take your time. I think we have another Brittany. So how do I spell your last name, hun? It's S-I-R-O-I-S. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to shake it all up again. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Lois Ross. 
You are the winner, Lois. Is she still on here? Lois, are you here? <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, I see you. All right, congratulations, Lois. You are the winner. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Um, I hope this helps you. Please post your results in Sweet Aroma. I want to know your results. I want to know how many parties you get booked over the next couple of days. Please let us know if they're bag parties, home parties, what kind of parties. Let us know all the details. Please, please, please. I want to know how this works out for you guys. So far, it's going really well for me, and I want it to go well for you, too. So, all right. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. you. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you at SFR. Yes, I can't wait. We have another call before then, though, I think. Oh, that's right. <laughs> have a good